Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at sort by and sort by descending. So as always, let's start with our first example. Let's collect, and then we're going to have an array of items here. So we'll say product, we'll set that equal to apples, and let's give them a price, say nine, then coconuts, and we'll give them a price of maybe three, bananas, and we'll give them a price of five. So now sort by will actually help us sort a three-dimensional collection. We are able to pick something like product to be able to sort by. So we'll say sort by, and let's just pass in product, and let's check out the results. So there we are, apples, bananas, and coconuts. What if we wanted to sort by the price? Okay, so price instead of product, and sure enough, three, five, and nine. Now, if you needed this in reverse order, you can use sort by descending, and it would do exactly the opposite. Again, nine, five, three, and same thing if we change this to product. We get coconuts, bananas, and apples, obviously alphabetized, but in descending order. Now, let's change this collection up a little bit, and I wanna show you another feature. What if maybe they had some sort of product code? We will say A-30, this one maybe would be A20, and this final one, A50. What if we tried to sort by code? Let's see what happens. We're actually still in descending, so let's go ahead and go back to just sort by. So in sort by, let's run that one more time. Here we go. A30, A20, A50. Well, that doesn't seem right. Obviously, A20 should be at the top, then we should have A30, and then A50. Now, this dash here is throwing this whole operation off. So what you can actually do with sort by is you can pass in a callback. I will say function item. What we can return here is a standardized string that sort by can actually use for sorting. So we can say return, string replace. Let's look for a dash and let's replace it with nothing. And we are gonna be looking inside item and then this is an array, right? So this, this would represent this entire line. So we obviously need to drill down to just get the code. So item and then code. And now let's check out the results of that. And there we go. So we have A20, A30, and A50. So we are successfully sorting this three-dimensional collection by actually modifying the string. And that is extremely powerful. The last thing I want to show you with sort by is that it returns a new collection. So if we said collection equals collect, and then we called the sort by on that collection, and then returned our collection, let's check out the results. So we actually get our original collection back. And that's because sort by doesn't do anything with the original collection, but it actually returns a brand new collection. If you needed to save that, we could say something like new collection, and then we can return new collection instead. And let's check out the results. And sure enough, we're back to sorting by our product code, A20, A30, and A50. Now sort by descending works exactly the same way, and you can pass a call back to it as well. And of course, now we're in reverse order, A50, A30, and A20.